Well, a very good evening to you wherever you are. I do hope that you can join me in appreciating this truly beautiful evening. A night that is absolutely ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something, a beautiful picture. The Netherlands have a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. Stefan de Vrij. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. And what's more, he seems to really love a tussle. His passing's good too, and he never seems to lose it in important areas. I'd expect this team to notch up a lot of clean sheets with him on board. Yeah, he'll certainly be leaving his mark on this game, quite possibly actually at both ends. He's going for goal! of the highest order. You know, you just know there is no stopping that. That is just the top drawer finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. After 14 minutes is number eight. The Netherlands trail at this early stage, how will they respond? Passing is crisp and sharp. And that's the end of that, it all started well enough. It's Giroud! It's there! And they're at it again in double quick time! Yeah, i call that transition with bite. They won it back and a bit hard. The goal of France after 18 minutes is number nine, Drew. starting to look very comfortable well their manager seems to have them always thinking about the next goal when's the next goal coming they're such an entertaining watch France have scored two quick goals here and are well and truly in the driving seat distributed tidily oh he's dead well, now it's a race for the ball. He's done very well to get to that. Yeah, he was well placed to deal with that. And we have our very first corner. He's gone looking for safety. Rabio. Traumeri. Couldn't squeeze it through. Can he spark a counter here? And Hernandez. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Neither of these two want to come off second best. 
Gakpo. Griezmann. And it's Ravio. Memphis Depay. Chouameni given the lift of his goal. There will be three minutes at a time. Oh, that looks a good ball through. Big chance! In he goes again! They are rampant! And the lead is extended still further. Radio duly reaps his reward, kept his call whilst the defence lost their bearings. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. France find a position of real strength now. And we've reached half-time. Well, the contrast in fortunes here could not be much more stark. All smiles on one side, their qualities have shone through. And look across the other way, and there is nothing short of absolute deflation. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? France are steaming towards victory, thanks to three first-half goals, which have left the opposition feeling grateful just to get in for a break. Another 45 minutes to come, but the mood in the stands here is very much suggestive that the deal is done. It is 3-0 at the break. And the action is back on the way. Dumbele. And that is expertly dealt with. Gakpo. A lot of space here, a real opportunity. Can he get it through? Ake clears it away. Saliba. Hernandez. Gently done. That has been cut short. And the counter is on. This is what good chemistry is all about. Now it's Chouameni. Shapes to shoot! And he hits the net! It is no contest! It is a landslide! That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. The attendance for this France match was totally rampant here. Rabio passes coming off in quick succession here. It's a good ball out wide. A big header. All denied at the last. I think it's a very fair effort, Peter, considering he didn't have much in the way of space to play with. Many. And it's Griezmann. And he welcomes it in. A lot of Mbappe! It's in! And it is becoming almost too painful to watch. Where to next? Well, I think we've reached the point when even damage limitations is, is no longer an option. The Netherlands can now introduce the first of their substitutes. 
Well, he can certainly make his side a lot more unpredictable, Peter. You know, he has a very good eye for a pass and, and a tricky one at that. France tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Substitution for Netherlands. Number two. A really well measured ball. Coming on to replace him is number 20. Simon's cross. Oh, he had to make that, and he did make it. Rabio. Here's Tromeli. Gakpo. Well, the movement is slick. The speed is slippery. The defence, though, able to hold on this time. Now it's Giroud. Dembele. Showing good feet. And the finish! He's got a goal! And this is getting ridiculous. Borderline crazy. Look, all they want to hear right now is the final whistle. They've been humiliated. The goal scorer for France after 87 minutes is number 11, Dembele. The Netherlands are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Oh, that's a key interception. Traumeri. Dumfries calmly anticipates. Forwards and with intent. Nicely weighted ball. He's in space and looking for options. And the referee brings it to a close. So a real showpiece win. This stop was simply far too clever for their opponents. And despite their best endeavours, it has ended in an easy win. Chouameni picking up the Man of the Match award. And no surprise there. But what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of a match and if you can back that up with an early goal it just energizes everybody the whole performance and i think they were certainly more fluid as a result of the early goal my thanks to jim we both wish you a very good evening